So we're now at the meat and potatoes part of becoming a producer. We are going to talk about the technical specs and requirements that it takes to produce a perfectly professional sounding recording every time. So let's go ahead. What we do is we have our script open and ready here on our computer. So now we'll go ahead and open up Audacity. Let's do that. There it is. Okay, so what you should do at this point is go ahead and shrink Audacity down to a pretty small size, and then we'll drag it down here so that we can see the script scrolling in the background, and we'll be able to see that we're recording in the foreground. Pretty terrific, huh? <laughs> okay, so for Audacity, what we need to do is we need to set up its technical specs properly. First thing we want to check is make sure that it's recording in mono as opposed to stereo. Um, all of audiobook tracks are recorded in a mono version. And then the next thing we need to see is at this point it would be recording me with the built-in microphone on the computer. We don't want to use that. We want to use our AT2020 USB. Perfect. So now it will be capturing us from that microphone. Okay, so now you're ready to read, which should actually be the easiest part of this process, because like we discussed earlier, the key is just to speak naturally. Can you handle that? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, the key is to speak naturally, but slowly, so that the people who are listening to you speak can really process and enjoy the book that you're putting out there. Now, the one trick is for dialogue, but it's also unbelievably easy. Yeah, the key is... If you're voicing a female character, then you just want to raise your voice slightly higher than you normally speak. And if you're voicing a male character, you guessed it, you're going to pitch your voice down a little bit lower than you normally speak. And other than that, it's really pretty simple. Everything else just happens in your natural voice. Now, if the book does say that a character has a specific accent, like they're from Australia or something like that, and that is indicated, all you have to do is just a little hint of that particular accent. You don't have to become an, an accent expert or anything like that. It really is, this world is where subtlety goes a long way. I'm not kidding. You do not have to be a great animation expert who can match any accent in the world. No, it's really subtle. Subtlety is key and you're going to be just fine. So let me show you, give you an example of that right now. As we go back here, we are ready to record. So let's go ahead and just take an attempt at a first pass at this audition. You brought me back. Jake's words thundered in her head. I couldn't have healed you. It's impossible. Words go... Whoops. Okay, so you see I made a mistake. I didn't say gushed properly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. So um, we just hit the stop button. And that's just fine. You're going to mess up all the time. And every time you do, just stop politely, hit stop, be nice to yourself, because <laughs> it's going to happen a lot. And the thing you need to do is you need to hit this fast forward type button. That will put the cursor, I don't know if you saw it, but it jumped here to the end of the track. So now we're going to start with the very last thing, the very last sentence that we said, so that we will just be able to overlap that on top of the last mistake that we did. It's gonna be very simple. So let's let's start on words gushed because that's what I said right now. In fact, sometimes you might want to check and make sure that's a, that is exactly what you said. Let me turn it up so I can. Words yep, <laughs> that, was, that was my attempt at words gushed. Okay, so let's try again. At the end, and here we go. Words gushed out of her now in a wild torrent. For all I know, Saxon was right and I'm nothing but a bunch of random biochemical reactions that mimic life. I shouldn't be alive anyway. Death is... It, oops. Try again. Let's go to the end. Okay, we're there. Starting over at death is the end. Let's make sure. One more time. Death is... It, yep. Death is the end. Here we go. Death is the end the final stage, the doorway to the afterlife, and nobody should come back from that. I'm a specimen, a thing, somebody's property, not a human being, 
I shouldn't be alive. He launched an arm out in front of her and jammed his foot on the brake. The tires spun. Okay, so I went ahead and stopped there because you don't need to hear me record <laughs> the entire audition um, for your edification. We'll just stop there. But what you see is, if this were the end, da da da, then what we would do is, let's say we have the we have the end of the audition finished. So now we're going to go ahead and work backwards and piece the mistakes back together from the end. This actually makes it so much easier when you do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so you can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to scroll back to the last mistake that I made. Make sure we can hear it okay. Death is, oops. Death is the end. Okay, so death is the end is going to be replacing death blah, blah, or whatever the heck it was I just said. So the easiest thing to do, what you can do is you can do use all the copy paste buttons that you want, but there's a really cool trick that'll save you some time. If you hold down the shift button and hit the letter K, it will copy everything to the end of the track. And that is going to save you so much time when you edit. So it was shift K. There's also shift J, which will take you from that point to the beginning where you click, but you're not going to use that one nearly as much as shift K. So once you've shift, shift K'd, if that's a verb, you hit shift K, you copy that. So I will copy. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this track now. And I want to shift K paste it right there. So now the sentence will sound correct. Check this out. I shouldn't be alive anyway. Death is the end, the final stage, the doorway to the afterlife. Much better, right? <laughs> All right. So let's go scroll down, find our next one that was a problem. Words gushed out of her now. Words gu Yep, there was the mistake. So let's go ahead. Shift K, copy. Shift K, paste. Okay, now I always get rid of the, the track underneath. Some people think that's dangerous, but you don't want to record it and have all of the tracks down below and playing at the same time. It'll sound like a muddled mess. Actually, let me go ahead and see if I can show you what that would sound like. Okay. In a wild torrent. Words For all gushed I know, out of her now. Saxon was right. In a wild torrent. And I'm nothing but a bunch of random For all I... Yeah, it doesn't sound too clean, does it? So that's why I always get rid of the track once I see that it has pasted. And you can even get rid of these little places that show where the mistake was. Uh, but you don't have to if you want to see that. So that is, that will take us now back to the beginning. And let me show you. There's actually, I'll show you how to shift J from here. Shift J. And that took me to the very beginning of the track. And I just hit delete to take off some of that air at the beginning. Now, there's a traditional um, amount of time, which is 0.5 seconds, that usually occurs at the beginning of any track. Now, you see down at the bottom, I actually have 0.66 seconds at this point. So if I wanted it to be 0 0.50, that is the correct amount of time. And then you just pull with your cursor. How cool is that? At any point, you can just drag and pull the exact amount of time that you want to delete. Get rid of that. And we have a perfect 0 0.50 seconds that we're supposed to have at the beginning of any track. So now my audition is complete. And at this point, me back. I would listen to it. Jake's words thunder and go, wow, that was excellent. This is definitely the track that I want to turn in. Hooray. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and export the file. So we go up to File, Export Audio. OK, now this is going to be, we're going to call this the Reborn to Burn Audition. Now, this is the first, this is our original raw voice. So we always call this track the raw tracks. And I'm going to save it onto my desktop so I can find it easily. You can save it wherever you're comfortable. And the first thing we want to export it as, as a WAV file. You want to export it first as a WAV. 
and I do the 32-bit because that's a higher quality sound. So let's export our audition, that is hard to say, onto our desktop. Let's hit save here. And then this is just, this screen is for musicians, so we don't ever use that, but so you just click through it as okay. All right, so that should have saved our track. Now we can go ahead, we're gonna quit Audacity here because we're gonna deal with the track. Um, save changes before closing, we can. It probably is ideal to just go ahead and save the project just in case. I'm not going to now because I'm just showing you some things. So here we are, there's our track. Reborn to Burn Audition is a raw WAV file. Now, the next step is we take that raw WAV file and put it into the program that we downloaded called the Levelator. Levelator is your best friend. It is so easy to use. You literally drag and drop your raw wave file into it. Watch this. Boom. And it's levelated. <laughs> Can you believe it? Here it is. So it'll actually come, it says um, output, yeah, here it is. Reborn to burn audition raw dot output dot wave. So what that did is it produced a much more even track than what we originally had. And I'm going to show you that right now. You're going to see it when I put this track back into Audacity, which is opening now. Okay, you see that? You see how the waves are, it matched whatever sort of the highest level of sound I was making. And let me see if I can let you hear it now. It should be a lot more even. You brought me back. Jake's words thundered in her head. I couldn't have healed you. It's impossible. Words gushed out of... Okay, so it's, see, it's much more even, much more loud, much more clear, and that's the kind of professional sound that they want. So the next step, now that we have our output track in here, is we go to Effect, and then we choose Normalize. See that? We're going to use some normalization here. Okay, so what ACX wants you to normalize everything to is this negative 3.0 dB. So just know that. So once that number is in there, I think it usually comes up as zero, but since I've done it before, it comes up as three, so it should save it. Okay, and do you see that? It actually shrunk it down so it's not quite so loud if you were to play it now. You brought me back. Jake's words. So it's still compressed, but just not quite as noisy. So this is actually the sound that we're going to have for our final track. So then the last step is going to be to export it from here. We're going to export our audio again from file. Okay. But instead of it being raw or raw output, it is going to be the final track. We always turn in the final track. We'll save it to the desktop again. And the final track always has to be an MP3 file. And the quality has to be set at 192 kilobytes per second, or kbps. So once you have all of these things in place like this, it's uh, joints, don't even worry about that. You don't have a choice about stereo. I know it's mono, so it doesn't matter. So once we have that, we'll go ahead and save this to our desktop. Go through this one again exporting and there you have it you have exported let's go ahead and quit audacity here you don't have to save this one because this is just an edited file and you also don't have to save the output files we can go ahead and trash those because the only the only files you need to keep are your raw files because if you ever do any editing which eventually you will do when they say oh you missed a word you have to go back and record over the raw track because if you record over the final track it's going to be at a completely different sound level it's going to sound really funky so save your raw tracks save your final tracks and then you're ready to turn in your audition all right so let's get to that final magic moment where we finally turn in our first audition <laughs> 